Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more! Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich playing as the Sultanate of Egypt. There's a second Weltkrieg going on, the entire world is basically engulfed in war, but we got our own little problems to worry about. We're finally fighting the Ottomans. And apparently fighting in a desert is really unpleasant. In fact, it is very debatable that we should not be attacking, like, at all anymore. So I'm gonna stop. We're gonna hold back for a little bit. We're just going to kind of let ourselves regenerate some of our equipment. Try to work our way toward things like Damascus, at least a little bit later. What is going on? Naval battles down over here? Uh-oh. Well, we lost a convoy. Interwar submarines. You got six submarines, it looks like. That are indeed sinking my convoys. That's why I have some patrols over here, but... Submarines notoriously difficult to catch. Uh, let's see if we can grab some of this. Again, we're just trying to get some cutoffs around Medina. Make sure he has a very little supply to work with. Just makes my life a little easier. Um, I will absolutely try to kill this guy before he goes anywhere. He's going to be pretty weak. I need to get my organization up. I need to get my supplies up. I need to get a lot of things. Missing equipment production. Fighters? Yeah. Could use a bit more steel. Japan is not delivering everything that was promised. We'll try trading a little bit with Siam, I guess. I just need to be producing more guns. Like, way more guns. We need to be producing at least, like, 60 per day. If I want to find myself in a sustainable position. But, when we're fighting at such low strength, because I just don't have enough guns to go around, well then, we have a bit of a problem, don't we? I'm going to go ahead and cancel these guys, so we have more guns to just sort of send around. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and follow this up real quick. Hey, you. No, 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 no. Don't reinforce there. Get out of the way. Just stay right there while I get in place, okay? I'm entrenching there now, buddy. There we go. Alright. Recon companies are done. Cool, that should improve my tactics a little bit. If we go to Land Doctrine, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the infantry offensive, so we have extra breakthrough and organization. Empire of Japan, uh, Japan declares war on the Dutch East Indies. How fun. Uh, we are going to kill this guy. That's not an issue. I am going to remove this front line here. And make sure that all my defensive units are assigned there. Then spread this out just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my offensive units. So they fight primarily in these regions. Make sure that all of you guys are assigned here as well. I do want to surround and destroy Medina. Then I can declare victory there as well and demoralize the Ottoman. Uh, what's going on over here? Looks like we are engaging against his submarines. We can't quite detect them. I don't think anything really bad is happening there. The Saudis are attempting to attack. We can assist, but it doesn't appear to be making a huge amount of difference. Good opportunity to swoop in right here and entrench. Um, we are almost out of fuel. Well, I'm going to go ahead and ground my planes in that case. And we probably should take at least one of these navies. This one, primarily. And tell them actually to be a strike force in the region. So if you detect something, go kill. Otherwise, stay back. Also should probably put some admirals in charge. Occurs to me now. Because a little bit of extra buff is not going to go amiss. Alright, yeah, the Saudis are not doing a good job fighting over here. How you doing, Yemen? You actually have been held, holding together pretty well. It looks like we're actually also about to take Mecca, or at least we could if we go and assist. Well, let's see if we can get a full surround in on these guys. That's what I'd like to see happen. Still very concerned about this. If you're not going to defend your capital, then I will defend it. Domestic gunsmiths. Cool, then we'll go for desert training. Which is going to reduce heat attrition by 30%, and as well as giving us extra attack, defense, and movement in the deserts. There aren't a whole lot more deserts to fight about, except for here in Arabia. But even so. Iran is making some good pushes over here, especially in the northwest. Most importantly, they are distracting the Ottomans, and it looks like they are going to be pushing up into Baghdad. So that's always a good sign. Can you come down here and assist and get me some extra soft attack in this region? 
He's got low supply as well, so he's down to... He's got my, a 25% penalty to everything. Which means we absolutely should be able to pierce through him. Especially if I get a few more artillery rounds going on here. You guys can't quite take Mecha. You're close, but you're not quite there. Don't worry, once we take Medina, we'll push down to Mecca, declare victory there, demoralize the crud out of them, because I'll take the holy city of Islam. Okay. Can we make a multi-vector attack work here? It appears the answer is currently no, but he's also still on low supply. With a minus 25 penalty, I think we got a chance. We did get some more encryption. We'll go for some decryption as well. He still has a decryption advantage. He also has air superiority, which is a slight problem. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of air superiority going on here. At least contend with that. Mm, he's got air support coming in. Now see, we're using the close quarters slam against his close quarters local strong point. Definitely struggling. We just gotta keep wearing him out, though. Like, we don't have to do much. How are we doing in terms of equipment? Psst, pretty darn bad. We are out of support equipment as well, so this war has definitely been taking its toll on me. Alright, stop attacking. Go ahead and redeploy your troops. We're just throwing our lives away for no good reason at this point. Um, I would love to get somebody else down here to fight in Mecca. I don't think he has a lot. Like, if I think I think if we come down here and attack, I think we actually might be able to get Mecca from him. So let's get down there and try. He's just got too many troops sitting here in Medina. We're just gonna we're just gonna starve him out for a bit. The Jarira, J Jarira Sufi order has been founded within the Sinai Peninsula. The Sheik Aid Abu Jarir has recently founded a new Sufi order called the Jiriria. The order has helped inspire a number of people to join it within Sinai, and many of the mosques in the region have been decided to become affiliated, gain stability, and base power. Alright. Still nothing else I can do here. Um, my troops are feeling a little bit more confident about attacking. I mean, you guys should be getting some good planning bonuses now, right? Yeah, plan preparation's basically done. That's why my units, my troops feel a lot better about the situation. They think they actually have a chance at fighting and winning. Okay, we're actually doing okay here in Mecca. I don't have a fantastic amount of soft attack. The terrain is just abysmal for the mountains. But his organization is definitely getting worn out, and once that's gone, you're dead. So we should be able to take Mecca now, definitely. Which is good. That's a that's a very important uh, symbol, a very important symbolic victory. We're actually doing okay on steel right now. I would like to trade for a little bit more aluminum. Trade with the Australasians, I guess. I don't think anyone's going to sink those convoys. Just so we can produce a little bit more of our support equipment a little bit faster, since I know that we don't have enough going around at the moment. 46 infantry equipment per day, just not enough, but at least we're starting to make progress. We're not chewing through it too quickly. Almost done with Mecha. Come on. Just die, buddy. You're going down, you're going down, you're going down. You got nothing. Got it. Alright, desert training is done. Desert combat training is ready for all my troops. That helps. We could increase recruitable population and reduce the effect of partisans. That doesn't seem so bad. Not that I need a recruitable population per se, but reducing the effect of partisans can be nice. Um, I could also go for things like the Nile Proclamation that I don't need base war support or political power. I don't need Somalia to do anything right now. Let's go ahead and do the tax reform and see what comes out of all that. So can we declare victory here? Nope. No, we cannot. And I think that is because we don't own it. It's because Yemen owns it. That is unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and attack. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. So we're, as long as we're fighting in deserts, we've got a better shot at this. We can do some serious damage to this guy. 
We can even cut off this guy right here, who's been threatening the capital in Riyadh for a while. The Mashriki government in exile, they've formally requested permission. Allow them to return, they'll like me a lot as liberators, reinstate the Mashriki kingdom, or they lose legitimacy. I guess I will allow you to return to your own territory, though, frankly, I kind of would like to eat you. Don't take that the wrong way, it's just, I think you'll look delicious and I want you to die. Can you pin this guy down? I don't like that he's here. We'll go for a very minor encirclement using the faster cavalry. Very minor. Okay, apparently we have to worry about getting attacked over here. Pushing this guy back. Good, making progress in the desert. Iran is about to join up with us. They've managed to grab Baghdad, so that's working out well. Can you guys finish him off? He's not going to have much going for him. He's completely surrounded and taking a lot of attrition. Perfect. Okay, so that'll finish that off. I feel like I've lost a troop. I had 18 here before, didn't I? What have I lost? I don't think I would have gotten encircled. Alright, go ahead and grab Medina. I'm sure I'm not going to get to control it, but hopefully somebody's able to demoralize these guys. Can we actually see? No, wait, that's Saudi Arabia. Uh, war support is still at 99%, but their stability is definitely going down. There's the engineering companies. Okay, that helps. It is October of 1940. Go ahead and research some new artillery guns. Alright. Alright, we've pushed them out of this area completely. Now we can focus all of our efforts up over here. Do you still have a good planning bonus? I don't know. But we're going to change that. Let's make sure you start building something up. Actually, really what I want to do... Let's probably have you push right up to here. So we can kind of cut off the Iranians and then make sure that the rest of this technically goes to me. We'll be the largest war participant by far, which means we should get the lion's uh, share of the uh, war participation. And the war score, but even so, let's just make sure that that works to my advantage. The fall of Petrograd. So the Soviet city is down, and it looks like they are officially dead. Goodbye, Soviet Union. The Russian Republic is victorious. Nice. French Republic is pushing into France. Belgium is pushing in from the north. The Entente appears to be winning. The Dutch East Indies have landed in Italy. Of course they have. That just makes sense. Really, when you think about it. Let's go ahead and manually target some of these guys down for a minute. Don't think he's going much of anywhere. We can counterattack here, but I don't see the point. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Map, what just happened? No idea. You guys, finish this fool off. Okay, Iran's done. You guys pull back there. Good. Your offensive line's still working out just fine. Light blue does have mostly a planning bonus, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to just keep attacking and be aggressive. I'm a little concerned that we're gonna be expanding the Mishriki Kingdom a little bit too much. Tax reform. All right, as part of the reforms, the topic of tax reform has been brought up. There are a few options. We can listen to the people and institute a land tax, which falls primarily on the rich landowners. We can listen to our Western advisors who advise uh, progressive tax or we can listen to the nobles and institute a flat tax. Well, I mean, as with all things, we're just going to go with whatever is popular. Fall of Calcutta. Okay, so Bengal's having trouble. Maybe we shouldn't have reinstated the Mashriki Kingdom. Because they're getting all the factories now. Look at us, we're getting nothing out of all this. Man, you are the wrong rebels, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get finished reforms. That's going to create the new Egypt, for whatever that means. I don't know. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? I'll pick up somebody. Might as well have some sort of a naval advisor. Okay, so these guys are very dead. We do not need to be defending against Iran. I'll let you continue attacking from behind. Just to finish this guy off real quick so the Iranians can move their troops forward as well. 
But that should finish off a few more of them. Madras attacks the Indian Empire, okay. So that's going to finish them off. Saudi Arabia technically got the lands. All right, we're starting to see some serious progress. The Ottoman Empire's in trouble. Their stability went up, but their war support went down to 89%. The more we take from them, the weaker they should be getting. What are the odds you guys can get to things like Adana and Aleppo and whatnot? Can you make that happen? Please do. I want it to happen. We've also created a much narrower front line, which means we actually can push a lot of our troops up to the front now. Really start coordinating our attacks. Very good sign when that happens. Yemen wants to give me guns. Actually, yes please. Please give me guns. How are we doing in terms of construction? Still working on a few military factories. Got a few things to repair as well. Should build some infrastructure up in Sinai. Just so we have um, a better flow of supplies. That's a bottleneck right there. If ever there was one. Hey look, we're finally getting some land again. Awesome. I don't know what kind of cores the Mashriki Kingdom is going to have. All I know is I don't like it. Okay. Progress made. You guys pop into Aleppo real quick. Let's grab the city. Grab those factories too while we're at it, if you don't mind. I need at least one of you guys to pin him down. I don't like what he's doing. I've got Aleppo. It didn't give me the option. I own Aleppo. Did it automatically push the button? Well, they're down to 88%, but that's not a lot. Alright, you know what? We're going this way. We're going to cut all of his troops off from his capital by doing this. It's going to create a really unpleasant front line. Yes, this is true, but... I think that's fine. What I'm trying to do is just cut off the rest of his troops from the capital, which is technically, I think, where the supplies flow from. So it's going to form a uh, function as a really large encirclement. As long as he doesn't sneak in from behind and get me. Which he certainly will attempt to do. But we're going to go ahead and keep piercing through here. Can you guys attack here? If we can get an encirclement around here, that would be convenient as well. Can you guys attack from behind here? I'd like to get an encirclement right there. We get some extra breakthrough from our infantry. That's nice. Organization for tanks and stuff. Honestly, not that important. Uh, we could go for some better guns and stuff. Don't think we need that at the moment. Can't get any support companies I care about. Artillery value, don't need. I'm going to go ahead and work on some excavation tech. We're going to start getting some um, some resources uh, again, and I'd like to be able to start producing some of my own. Slight deficit in steel is fine. The fall of Paris. Ooh. Okay, Belgium has grabbed Paris, so the German Empire is doing just fine there. Yeah, the Third International is actually going to lose. All right, he's got some cavalry of his own. We appear to have lost our uh, decryption advantage. We have finished reforms, the new Egypt. The reforms are finally done with the reforms done. Well, yes, that is, okay. The reforms are finally done. And with the reforms done, redundancy and all heck, Egypt now moves into a new era, a new modern era. The reforms may not have solved all of Egypt's problems, but they have helped push her into a brighter future. Gain 10% more base stability. That's nice, and now we can go for a constitutional monarchy. Screw it, let's become a constitutional monarchy. I don't know what that's going to do for me, but it sounds cool. We are almost ready to cross this river. Frankly, I'd like you guys to stop attacking over here. Go and assist, go this way. We'll get an encirclement over here. Okay, we've got decryption. That helps. Uh, da -da 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 Guess we'll go ahead and start making some more progress. It's 170 days, but whatever. Probably fine. Man, that's a huge deficit of infantry equipment. Okay, there's the German Empire wandering around over here. Don't know why. We are indeed about to get a cutoff, and he, for some reason, is not moving to cut me off, which he should be doing if he was smart. 
But I think this is technically going to function like a giant encirclement, especially if we then follow up by grabbing all of his ports around Trebizond. That should mean absolutely no supplies in this entire area. Except that he is indeed starting to cut me off. But that's okay. We're about to free up a whole bunch more troops. We'll be fine. Just need you guys to hold out a little bit longer. If you can go over here and grab that, Malatia, yeah, that will get me these guys' supplies so they won't take attrition either. Okay. He's abandoned Adana. So we're going to go this way. The new lighthouse misspelled for Egypt? The port said lighthouse, or Port Said lighthouse, I guess, has served as a beacon for the Suez Canal since 1869. Built by the Khedive Ismail, Ismail, I don't know, Ismail? It has been appropriated by foreigners since the canal opened. Now with the canal of Egyptians' hands, this old lighthouse could use a new coat of paint. The artists on hand have a bold idea to rename the lighthouse the Pharos of Egypt, after the pharaohs of Alexandria. Traditionalists in the treasury refuse to finance any additional work. Oh, screw off. It'll be the Pharos of Egypt, which apparently reduces... No, increases our consumer's good by 10%. Okay, well, whatever. I'm still calling it the Pharos. Because reasons. I mean, it's got to be the freaking Pharos. All right. Keep getting more troops up here to the front line. Orange, you need to start entrenching up here. Uh, we are having some trouble in this area. Alright, we actually have allowed ourselves to get kind of cut off in a bad way. Let's go over here, grab some victory points, just grab some supplies so these guys don't die. We have new artillery available. That's good. Let's go ahead and improve said artillery. We're going to lose a lot of efficiency, but that's fine. Believe it or not, artillery is the only thing I actually have an excess of. Yeah, this, this cutoff was a stupid idea. I mean, I should have known he was going to do exactly what he's doing right now. He's retreating a lot of his troops out of this area, which is good for me, I guess. And we actually still might be able to make it work. Sort of. It's pushing it a little bit. Okay, I need you guys to attack up over here. I'd like you to reinforce a little bit. Trying to grab Adana. Saudi Arabia, for some reason, is taking control of these states as we get the entire state. Definitely do not appreciate that. Orange is always confused whenever we border up with Iran. Okay, I need you to go down this way. Or go to Samson. Go somewhere. Distract him. Get some victory points, get some supplies technically generating in the area so we don't die while I try to get the rest of my troops in position. Of course, movement speed becomes extremely slow while that's happening, so that's a potential problem. Okay, we're now losing this fight. A little bit too much. I'll try going up this way join them up if possible. No, we're going to lose these troops because I'm an idiot. I really expected him to keep all of his troops kind of con uh, contained down in here. I thought the AI would be stupid. Wasn't quite stupid enough. We'll go this way to try and open up an avenue of retreat for these guys if possible, but nope, he's stopping me from retreating. Okay. Probably smart. Constitutional monarchy is done, though. The reforms of the realm have brought about the liberal dreams that were born during the 1925 revolution. The reforms have transformed Egypt into a liberal constitutional monarchy with the Sultan having a ceremonial role. Long live the Sultan, long live Egypt. We become only marginally more powerful. Alright, well we finished that entire set of reforms. I guess I'm going to go for things like some extra steel and stuff. Come on, give... Ah! Keep trying to spread out a little bit and give these guys some place to go, but it's just not working out well for me. Can't quite kill the Ottomans fast enough here. Yeah, he's swarming trying to kill just these two troops. If I can get through here to Civis, we might be able to give this guy an avenue of retreating. This guy is dead. Just straight up. You have nothing. You've got no supply. You're very, very doomed. 
This guy's about to die, but we managed to get in there just in time. Okay. So that guy, yeah, we lost a troop. We saved one more. It was a little bit stupidly aggressive, I know. Get rid of these stupid front lines. Gosh, I hate how it does that. If I'm actively not fighting somebody, like Iran, I don't want to create new front lines against them. I, I would think that that's obvious, but it's not. Alright, you need a new offensive line, and that's going to be to get up over here. Go when you can. All of my troops have become regulars at this point, which is a good sign. But we are so completely out of equipment. I'm going to tell these guys to hold off for a little bit. Stop attacking. Entrench. We need to start getting our planning bonuses back up, so I have actually some attack... Let them attack me, exhaust themselves, and then we'll push back against them. Freaking get rid of this. God. Tighten up that front line, dang it. Iran is doing a pretty good job. They've actually been very helpful in this so far. And they just peaced out with the Ottomans. Okay. What? 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 Excuse me? What just happened? A peace deal has been signed between Iran and the Ottoman Empire. Peace deal between the Sultanate of Egypt has just ended our hostilities. Yemen has ended their hostilities. The Treaty of Tehran. Now that the Ottoman... Since when was the Ottoman Empire def I'm not done! Thanks to a united effort from our allies in the Cairo Pact and with great help from Iran, we must now split the spoils between us. Iran, having done a great deal against the Ottomans, took their claims first and restricted their gains solely to what they promised they would occupy. Now we must decide what to do with our own gains. Take the Levant and leave the rest to our allies? Or we will keep everything no matter what the Arabians think. You know what, Saudi Arabia? You're weak as heck. If you leave the Cairo Pact, I'll just kill you. You can be outraged if you want. And they left the Cairo Pact. Perfect. Justify a war goal against these idiots. Screw it. They haven't been very helpful to me at all. Okay, well, weirdness just happened, so I didn't know that they would just freaking end it for me. That's hilarious. I guess. Saudi Arabia is enraged. The Arabians are enraged by the results of the peace treaty, calling their occupation of the Hejaz a betrayal. They have left our alliance, clearly never intending to return. Aw, don't be that way. Yemen is no longer in the faction. Tripolitania still is, however. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys to hold and stop using up all my oil. So we can start regenerating some of this. So Yemen's going to need to die too, apparently. It's going to take a while to get the uh, war goals ready, but sure, why not? Let's just go ahead and conquer the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. So, Ottomans, you guys get off with a warning, I guess. Um, I do get some extra factories out of this arrangement, though, so we're slightly better than we were before. Why do we only have three? Why are my consumer goods at 12? And the Ottomans are now just known as Turkey. I just noticed. They're no longer the Ottomans. They're just Turkey. So something has changed for them. What the heck? I know my consumer goods were 10% increased from the building costs of the, um... The lighthouse, but that should have expired by now, right? No, that's not done yet. Still. We have an absolutely pathetic number of civilian factories to work with, and I don't know why. Okay, well, um, either way, uh, we should now be able to consolidate some new lands and create a whole load of cores. That'll be fun. And then we'll have options to, like, side with the Arabs or side with Iran, but since I'm currently justifying against the Arabs, I think I'm going to side with Iran. Also, we married their princess for a reason, didn't we? Okay, so we technically, sort of, kind of, defeated our enemies, the Ottomans. Now we have a chance to kind of rebuild, which is nice. But, we're nowhere near done. 
I want to do a lot more. Um, let's definitely trade for some more steel. Get that up there so we can keep maxing out our production. Let's improve that artillery, get our infantry equipment up and running. I need more support equipment. And yeah, it would be very nice, now that we're actually starting to build up an economy, it would be very nice to go ahead and start building up some tanks and such. Yeah, weird. Okay, well, I'm learning something about how this works. I mean, to be fair, the Sultanate of Egypt's rework and special national focus tree was created a while back. Like, back when I was playing my campaign as the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. is the same time that Egypt had been reworked. So this has been around for a while, but... Again, I haven't really seen... Like, a lot of information as to what's different. Uh, we're gonna go for some extra max factory output. We have a lot more industry that we need to be doing right now. We're about to finish up with the Egyptian steel, and then I think we have to consolidate our lands. Absolutely. Cairo, not owned by the Sultanate, will automatically bypass this. That would be interesting. We at least have a bit of army experience that I can use to start building up some new templates. Like, if we can get our uh, infantry equipment up and running, we can have some fun with uh, some much larger armies. But for now, I think we absolutely have to consolidate, get our cores going. And then continue down the National Focus Tree. The Kingdom of the Two Sicilies is now pushing back against the Socialist Republic of Italy. Commune of France is losing pretty hard here. Against the Germans and the Belgians. Yeah, the Third International is dead. Saudi Arabia recognizes the danger and is like, Oh, crap! We probably should defend ourselves against Egypt. I mean, it's no secret that I am actively justifying against you. And in May of 1941, we are going to kill you. Just because the Ottomans were nice and didn't take Riyadh does not mean that I'm not going to kill you and take Riyadh. I also want to own Mecca. Okay? It feels to me like it is we are entitled to the owning of Mecca if we are going to be the proper Egypt. Just saying. This is going to be a good place to end this video, though. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.